So here is a structure of our Windows architecture that has been right here. It's very much different and a little bit, you know, a complex architecture. The reason it is, you know, this just has more modules. The more modules are presented. Uh, Windows is basically each and every module has been given different different spaces in your Windows operating system. And we are seeing the Windows 95 architecture, which has been very much old. But today's all operating systems are mainly dependent on the 95 core. That is nothing but the Windows 95 operating system, which was there. So it was the first uh, major GUI, graphical user interface kind of uh, operating system which was developed by Windows and it was one of the most famous and loved ones by the users mainly. So in this also we have some user interface tools. Uh, this user interface tools are basically something that helps us communicate. Uh, you know the desktop that you all see the appearance, the personalization, you know standard features eh, of Windows. So that comes under user interface. Okay, the folder, how the folder looks basically, it's the same, right? It doesn't change from one application to another application. The folder looks the same. You know, this computer, my computer, this PC, this all terms are general terms. Those are nothing but user interface tools. The general user interface, you know, icons, the how your mouse uh, icon looks and, uh, you know, the mouse arrow looks mainly. All these are general uh, tools which are user interface tools mainly. So this general icons of user interface are stored right here in user interface tools. And then on Windows systems, as you all know, we can install many applications. I mean, there's a big, very big list. Uh, Notepad, WordPad, Microsoft Word, VLC Player, uh, your uh, programming uh, like Turbo C, uh, NetBeans, all this are a huge list of applications which we can install on Windows. All those terms under your applications. And that is a different module. Then we have something called as 32-bit shell. Uh, nowadays, we are using 64-bit shell. Before, it was 32-bit shell. 32-bit uh, is nothing but uh, the bits a processor can handle. What are bits? Zeros and ones combination, the binaries. So, there are 8 bits, there are 16 bits. In the same way, uh, your operating system or your hardware or, or your processors mainly. We, can, we are talking about processors. The processors were responsible for 32-bit of... Uh, you know, uh, mathematical calculations, but now it has been increased to 64 bit. That's the reason uh, 64 bit shell is available these days. Before it was 32 bit shell, is what's available. Basically, this 32 bits is nothing but the zeros and ones, the data which is coming from the application is converted to zeros and ones, and the maximum size of that can be. 32 only the maximum size of this zeros and one string which is there long one that can be 32 bit only and then we have the main operating system this operating system over here in between is responsible for communication from the user okay so the application's message will be converted into 32 bit and then it will be passed on to your core that is nothing but domain operating system and operating system will divide the task into the various fields which are given right here and what are these various fields certain tasks he'll be handling on his own what are the certain tasks which uh, operating system handles memory management process management and io management will be handled by the operating system that is, uh, you know, taking the help of the hardware, process management, uh, memory allocation, where it is to be allocated, those decisions will be taken by the core itself, the main OS itself. But it will take off the, this other components like virtual manager, uh, virtual machine manager, file system manager and configuration manager to get the task done. So basically, uh, over here, the message will be passed on to the Windows 95 core windows 95 core will be take that message and then he will begin the execute execution of this so if suppose there is something to be stored he will make use of file system manager okay file system manager file system manager is responsible for storing the data 
if there is some configuration part then it will be taken care by the configuration if there is some virtual machine part that will be taken care by virtual machines now why this virtual machines are required i told you all about the paging technique memory virtualization that is implemented in our windows systems mainly so that virtualization of memory memory virtualization mainly is taken care by virtual machine manager okay so os will allocate the memory but that virtualization part to manage the virtualization part of the memory he has a special component called as the virtual machine manager which is responsible for memory virtualization completely and file systems are responsible for managing the directory structure the storage of in your secondary hard disk in the secondary hard disk the storage will be managed by the file systems manager and then we have configuration manager which will be looking into all the technicalities whatever additional part is required that will be taken care by the configuration manager and we know why device drivers are required for communication with the actual hardware the device drivers are required so device drivers in this os will be communicating with the hardware so even the virtual machine can communicate with the hardware okay this virtual machine can communicate with the hard de uh, device driver so if virtual machine wants to communicate with the hardware it will communicate with the device driver and the message will be passed to the hardware then file systems can communicate with the device driver configuration manager can communicate with the device driver and so on and also the os can directly communicate with the device driver and device driver can pass the message to your hardware mainly so this is the main structure so there is first the core which takes care of all the communication and then he divides the task into its main component if it's memory related virtual machine manager if it is you know secondary hard disk hard disk related uh, file systems will be doing it if it is some another additional configuration configuration manager will be doing it and if it is the main process management scheduling part that the core itself will be doing and taking care of it so that is how you know uh, windows 95 core basically uh, manages this task apart from that there is something called as the registry registry is basically the metadata metadata is nothing but information about the information so it's the information so registry is basically maintaining all the records maintaining all the records whatever is happening in your operating system those records are maintained somewhere whatever whatever your virtual manager is doing whatever your file system is doing whatever this applications are doing whatever the 32 bit shell is doing all needs to be maintained even whatever the windows 95 core is doing that needs to be maintained and that is maintained in a place called as the registry the registry is a log it is information about information mainly all the metadata all the description about whatever is happening whatever is stored in your computer systems is kept inside the registry so that is your main windows architecture okay now let's understand the file system that has been used in your windows now every uh, operating system has some file system as i told you all that uh, you know linux still the most important one was uh, inodes and uh, we store this uh, in our unit number 2 inodes so in the same way uh, windows uses something called as windows nt file system now before this windows nt file system there was something called as fat fat 16 and fat 32 it stands for file allocation table it stands for file allocation uh, table this file system was used and now uh, another file system is used in latest ones which structure we will understand uh, so that is called as windows nt file system it stands for new technology this stands for new uh, technology mainly new technology file system so this new technology file system is inspired by linux i nodes it's inspired by linux i nodes but it is a little bit different so first thing that we have in this file system is a master file table mft that is master file table so in this uh, master file table every file every file will be having master file table and this master file table will be storing information about uh, 
your files see every folder will have a master file table every file which you create will be having a master file table and each and every master file table will be storing information about their respective files or folders okay if there are some inside a folder there will be one more file just to link to that it in that master file table uh, folder for you know master file table for folders will be kept into it so in master file table there is lot file record and if it is a folder basically if it is a folder then what is the small file records are there is uh, in that particular folder what files are available which are the large files which are the small files if there is some another directory that is inside a folder there is another folder that record needs to be kept so all that things we are given different blocks and that is you know kept in small small bits now uh, log file uh, means what what is log log is basically uh, you know information uh, when did you access it last time when what time have you accessed it how much time did you access it those are nothing but logs so those log information for every folder and every file are kept oh, so that is nothing but log file small file as i told you if uh, you know size of the file is smaller that will come into the small file record that for that particular folder large file is basically bit file and then small directory if there is one more directory inside it that information if there is a large directory inside it that also information will be stored now all the information is not stored in this main master file table only the heading will be stored and then if the information is larger so if information is small then it can be stored directly inside the table but if the information is larger it's a large file then there will be something called as extends you know these are nothing but a contiguous blocks these are nothing but contiguous blocks of allocation for allocating memory the contiguous memory blocks mainly this uh, files this that information regarding those files will be stored in extend so one extend will be stored in one part another extend will be stored in another part the third extend will be stored in storing the third the third part so this is nothing but extend it extends the main master file table but you know master file table is there and it will contain link to those extend which are stored in some another part might be uh, that is you know better for memory allocation also so extend is nothing but at some another place but they are extensible to the main master file table and they are nothing but continuous blocks of data which are stored in the memory so extend will store the record of this large files and there can be multiple extend if the file is two bit depending on the size of the extend depending on the size of the file the extends will be created so that is how things are if there is a limitation to this master file table if it is a smaller file all the information will be stored in the same file but if it is a larger file extends will be created and those extends will be attached to the large file okay and those if the file goes on increasing more and more more and more day by day then the extends more and more extends will be created and that will be joined to this master file table which is right here so this is nothing but your windows file architecture this stands for new technology file system and this is how we store data uh, file system for our computer systems mainly so this is main part for your windows